We're going to hop right in today. We're going to be looking at this portion of scripture in Matthew 6, and um, we're going to read uh, starting out verses 1 through 6. So let's jump in. And it says this, it says, be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what the right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will, will, will reward you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Now, what this passage is simply saying is don't be fake. This is not a time to be fake. And there was, this, there was this girl, her name was Carrie, and she actually tries really hard to get people to like her. And she acts upbeat most of the time so that others will comment um, on her sense of fun. People say nice things um, about her because they see her helping people who are in need. Uh, but when she is being honest, Carrie will say, I love Jesus, but I feel like my life is fake. She says she's running out of energy to keep it all up. Most of us can understand that and relate with this story of Carrie because it's, it's very hard to do the right thing for the right reason. Um, we might love Jesus, but sometimes the truth is we look out for others only because we want to be noticed and liked. Jesus talked about this problem in Matthew 6 and he warned about doing good things to be seen by others and he taught his followers, give your gifts in private. What you're giving to me, give in private. To pray to your Father in private. And when you fast, don't make it obvious. But why? The why behind this is because when we do good things behind closed doors, when we do the things that nobody else sees except us, the person that we're doing a good deed towards, and God, we know that we're doing them to please only God. And when we're living just for Him, we can learn to be satisfied with His opinion of us rather than needing anyone else's praise. Wanting to please God should be our only reason for obeying, obeying God. And I'll tell you, this is something that for me, um, if any of you know about the Enneagram, I am an Enneagram 3. We love to hear nice things said about us. We love to be the center of attention. So this is something that for me hits home really hard because I like it when people say nice things and good things about me. And so it's something that I oftentimes have to check myself on. And, and maybe you're in that same boat. And, and I think what we could do to help with that is simply to talk to God. And I think we can do it in a very simple prayer. And it says this, it says, Dear Father, please forgive me for wanting to please others more than you. Please help me to do good for the right reasons. I hope that's your prayer too. I hope that, that you are, are doing um, the things that God wants you to do, but you're doing them in such a way that we would be pleasing and honoring to him and that we would be doing it for his glory above our own. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me on this. Um, if you have any questions, as I always say, please comment um, below and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. If you have any prayer requests, I'd love to be praying for you. Um, and if you ever need anything, I'm always here to hit, uh, I'm here. So hit me up. Um, you can DM me. A lot of you have my phone number. Always give me a call. All right, guys, I love you all. I miss everybody. Until next time, have a great day.